best places to visit in China. China has been regarded as the embodiment of all that is mysterious and exotic. Since the world first discovered it through the writings of adventurer Marco Polo more than 700 years ago. Even after decades of economic growth, this vast country has not lost its allure. Indeed, the contrast between ancient Chinese customs and the new ultra-modern state that is emerging has only heightened interest in a culture that dates back millennia. China, as a tourist destination, provides limitless opportunities for exploration due to its size. This country is full of incredible experiences and sightseeing possibilities. Whether you choose to travel aboard a luxury cruise ship through the picturesque Yangtze gorgeous, visit a bustling city or seek the tranquility of an ancient temple. With our list of the top tourist attractions in China, you can discover fascinating, unusual and adventurous things to do. On the top of the list is the Great Wall of China. It is situated in China's Huairu district. The magnificent Great Wall of China stretches more than 6,000 kilometers from the fortress of Shanghai Guan in the east to Jiayu Guan in the west. Passing through Hebei, Tianjin, Beijing, where the best preserved sections of the wall can be visited, Inner Mongolia, Ningxia, and Ganzhou. The most visited section of the wall today is near Battling Pass, northwest of Beijing, which is easily accessible by public transportation or organized tours. Other restored sections worth seeing are near Gubeiku, 130 km from Beijing, and Mutianyu, 70 km northwest of Beijing. The second position is the Forbidden City and the Imperial Palace, Beijing. The Forbidden City, or Jiangtiang, also known as the Imperial Palace, is China's largest and most important building and is a must-see for anyone visiting the country. Much of the complex seen today was built between 1406 and 1420 during the Yuan Dynasty, that ruled between 1271 and 1368. This sprawling complex was the residence of 24 Ming and Qing emperors, whose presence prohibited anyone other than the imperial family and their courtesans from entering. This massive complex, covering 720,000 square meters and protected by a 10-meter high wall with watchtowers and a wide moat, consists of ceremonial and administrative areas as well as the emperor's private residence. Highlights include the five white marble Golden River bridges, the 35-meter tall hall of supreme harmony which houses the imperial throne, and the exquisite emperor's banquet hall, the hall of preserving harmony, and the palace museum which houses a large collection of art and artifacts from the Ming and Qing dynasties. English language museum tours are available. Other notable attractions in the Imperial Palace's vicinity include Tianmen Square and the Temple of Heaven, one of the country's most important religious sites dating back to the 15th century. The third place on the list is the Terracotta Army Xi'an. In the 1970s, farmers digging well on the outskirts of Xi'an discovered what would become China's most important archaeological find, the Terracotta Army. The find, which was spread across three large underground pits and built to guard the tomb of the first emperor, included over 8,000 life-size warriors, 520 horses and more than a hundred chariots, as well as numerous other non-military characters dating from around 280 BC. Although some of were severely damaged by time, many of on the unhurted statues have been painstakingly resembled and stand as a testament to the emperor's and the afterlife's importance. The site, which is a part of Emperor Qin Shi Huang Mausoleum site park, is one of China's most important tourist destinations, offering the un 
unforgettable experience of standing in front of the assembly of soldiers and horses as if inspecting a centuries-old parade. There are English-language guided tours available. On a number fourth place, the Summer Palace, Beijing. The sumptuous imperial Summer Palace, Ye Yuan, located just 15 kilometers from Beijing, is a set among more than 700 acres of beautiful parkland and is one of China's most visited attractions. While the palace was built in 1153, the large lake was added in the 14th century to complement the imperial gardens. The magnificent Hall of Benevolence and Longevity, Renshu Diam, complete with a throne and a beautiful great theater, a private three-story structure built in 1891 to satisfy the imperial family's love of opera are both highlights. This historic venue is still used for traditional Chinese plays and musical events, and it is well worth a visit for a performance or show. Other highlights include the Hall of Happiness and Longevity, Le Shu Tang Hall, with its beautiful gardens and courtyards, as well as miles of scenic pathways and walking trails. If time allows, visit the ruin of the old Summer Palace, which was once one of the country's most elaborate and architecturally appealing palaces. Unfortunately, colonial forces destroyed this once impressive structure in the mid-1800s. China's fifth top beautiful place is cruising the Li River, Guilin. Guilin, in the northeast corner of Guangxi, has some of the most beautiful countryside in China and is famous for the Li River, which meanders through the town and surrounding karst mountains. While this unique scenery has attracted poets and artists from hundreds of years and has been the subject of countless fairy tales and legends, it is now popular with tourists from all over the world who wants to see this natural splendor up close. A cruise down the Li River is the best way to experience the area. The most popular section is from Guilin to Yangshuo, where the river meanders peacefully through 80 kilometers of spectacular rock formations and caves with romantic names like the Mount of Unique Beauty, Elephant Trunk Hill, and Reed Flute Cave. Trips can last anywhere from a few hours to several days, depending on the type of the boat used, from a tourist cruise ship to small bamboo punts. The sixth position is held by Gengdu Research Base of Giant Panda Breeding, Sichuan. A trip to China would be incomplete without at least one panda encounter. While many fine specimens of these fascinating creatures can be found in the country's top zoos, the best place to see them in their natural habitat is at the excellent research base of Giant Panda Breeding in Chengdu, located in the province of Sichuan. You'll be able to observe up to 80 pandas going about their daily activities from foraging to playing in the facility's large park-like setting. Aside from seeing these magnificent animals up close, you'll learn a lot about them from the many permanent exhibits and displays detailing ongoing conservation efforts to ensure their future. Visit the pandas during the morning feeding session if at all feasible. This is the time of the day when they are most active. Even better, sign up for one of the one-of-a-kind experiential volunteer programs that will include you in the feeding and care of these lovable creatures and potentially even holding a baby panda. These programs are offered at zoos, aquariums and other animal sanctuaries across the country. There are also tours available that are conducted in English. That was all for today's video. I really hope you had a good time. Like, comment and share this content. Please take care of yourself until then. Goodbye.